and about the publication charges for this particular uh, journal so they are charging you know for the uh, people the corresponding author <music> Hello Christian and channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So I am really happy to meet you all once again, this time with a very famous journal once again. This is Pertanica Journal of Science and Technology. So we are going to have a very genuine review about this reputed international journal. So in this video we are going to find out whether this journal has been currently indexed in the Scopus and Web of Science indexing database also will identify whether this journal is currently in the abdc journal list and what are the submission processing and publication fee associated with this journal so let us take in the case if our paper is accepted by this journal so how much publication time they will take to publish this journal and of course how much time it will take to index in the scopus and web of science we will try to find out in this video so as our channel members know we take much more pains to uh, explore about uh, reliable scopus web of science sci ugc and abdc journal lists so without wasting much of our time let us go straight into the review of Pertanica Journal of Science and Technology. So this is the name of the journal we are talking about. It is Pertanica Journal of Science and Technology. So I am searching this in the Google. I am getting some search result. So it is pertanica.upm.edu.my. So this is the name of the website. So down if you can scroll, we can see Sci Imago Journal Ranking. Also we are uh, finding relevance to some of the conference associations that are pointing to this journal information. So please note that uh, the name of the journal is Pertanica Journal of Science and Technology that has come from the Malaysian University. So we are straight away going into this website pertanica.upm.edu.my slash pjst. So this is the genuine website of this journal. As you can see in the home page they are offering proofreading and editing services in the English language so you can contact them directly or maybe you can scan this QR code. Down in the home page they have given warning scam alert. So if we go through that you can see that uh, there are some scammers who have been sending from a random email id. Okay, So they are po pointing to Pertanica Journal of Social Sciences and Humanities. So they have shown something okay your paper has been accepted please pay the charges okay so you should note that pertanica.upm.edu.my is the original authentic website and uh, uh, there is no other website for this particular journal okay so uh, of course uh, we can see that uh, the scammers are offering like rapid publication uh, some contact information has been changing okay the website is suspicious so don't fall prey to the a fake or maybe the scam websites so about the issn of this particular journal so if uh, if you go to about the journal and if you click on issn they have given one issn but anyway i will show you uh, this is not the original issn uh, because I will show you maybe in Sci Omega JR or maybe Scopus or maybe Web of Science, the ISSN is completely different. So, uh, that uh, ISSN you can have a reference to. And about the publication charges for this particular uh, journal, so they are charging you know for the uh, people, the corresponding author who belongs to the university of uh, this university Putra Malaysia 500. Uh, ring it okay Malaysian ring it so approximately it is a um, uh, hundred dollars approximately so that would be around like 8,000 in Indian rupees so maybe for other authors which means that uh, affiliated to institution outside Malaysia $250 so this they have coded in the website very publicly so $250 means approximately it will be 20,000 in Indian rupees so maybe you can go for uh, browsing the journal regular issue or maybe special issue you can find a lot of articles here about the scope of this journal as the journal name says pertanica journal of science and technology 
you have scope which applies to applied science and technologies chemical sciences earth sciences engineering sciences environmental sciences information uh, computer and communication technologies material uh, sciences and physical sciences so everything related to science engineering and technology you can submit your research paper and about the processing time that is mentioned in the website uh, from the submission till acceptance it will take three months from acceptance till publication it will take another three months so totally they will be taking six months so you can also visit the instruction to author section here so if you go through the instruction to others for the regular issue so they have mentioned okay it does it should not be published elsewhere it should not be you know currently in the process on other journals and each manuscript it should not exceed 6000 words and references because normally we uh, tend to make you know six references 10 references but they require a maximum of 80 references and abstract of lesser than 250 words so the tables figures equations has to be very clear so they have given the language accuracy as well and the referencing styles that has to be followed and include urls wherever and whenever necessary so they have given one common uh, template format for the research article as well as the review article if you go through the indexing databases of this particular journal it shows that this journal has been indexed in scopus of elsevier clarivate web of science esa epsco host asian citation index aci microsoft academic google scholar and malaysian citation index so that is my site so this journal shows that it's a quarterly journal which means that you will be having four issues within a year and it's a open access journal as you can see in the journal your article processing is 50 50 so 50 percentage it might be accepted or 50 percentage it might be rejected if we go through the editorial board member section uh, of course every detail has been mentioned very clearly like editor in chief executive editor all the information has been mentioned clearly you might be wondering okay email id has been not mentioned so maybe if we click on each and every name it is going to point to the scopus publication which is a very good sign and uh, here if you scroll down to the contact us section they have given a very proper you know name with the address pin code everything has been mentioned very clearly with the telephone number and the email id now this website looks very crystal clear yes, we have had a, a very genuine review about the website now our responsibility is to check whether this journal has been indexed in the popular international databases as mentioned in the website so first of all we'll go to sci imago jr so sci imago jr.com i'm going to search for this journal so you can search for botanica journal of science and technology or maybe you can search with the issn so it shows that the country malaysia and of course the publisher from the university university putra malaysia okay so the h index is very good 22 okay so issn has been mentioned 0128 Please note that this is the uh, original ISSN number and uh, you know why they have mentioned 22318526 we don't know maybe it might be the print number but anyway we will refer to this particular ISSN number. So you can uh, cross check this one so they have given the link for home page and how to publish in this journal. So the home page link is exactly the same link what we have reviewed and how to publish in this journal they have given the uh, registration uh, or maybe login uh, account section so the scope of the journal has been mentioned very clearly so here we can see that the journal was there in 2022 please do not worry that this journal is currently in the indexing databases so as you know SciMIOJR they will uh, verify information for one full year and after that only they will publish the next year so up to 2022 it was good so in the agricultural and biological sciences this journal falls in q3 but uh, in all other fields like chemical engineering computer science environmental science it falls in the q4 category so you can find the two year four year and five year statistics for this journal so in the comment section some of them have asked whether it's a genuine journal or not of course it's a very genuine journal and sai omega jr has uh, genuinely given the information so we have checked this information in sai omega jr so we'll also check in scopus.com so here you can select the sources and the title being selected okay so here you can type the journal name botanica 
journal of sciences and technology so this is the journal botanica journal of science and technology you can click on this one so you are getting a search result okay botanica journal of science and technology so we have uh, 832 uh, citations from 18 to 21 so percentage cited is 44 so you can click on this particular journal name to get more information from 2010 till present this journal is been indexed in the scopus database of course you can see the publisher name university putra malaysia you can see the same issn number and uh, there is no home page that is mentioned okay but if you can go through the scopus content coverage you can find 84 documents in 2023 of course you know that this journal is in the scopus database so from 2010 you can see averagely like 40 50 articles have been there then uh, very recently you can find like 150 documents so not more than 150 documents will be published by this particular journal so it's a very good journal but unfortunately we cannot click on the documents earlier you, it used to be in the clickable format so we can go through that and maybe we can see what are the documents that are actually present but now it is not clickable but anyway we can uh, check in the web of science as well so in the web of science database mjl master journalist.clarivate.com so here you can check for the particular journal botanica journal of science and technology and you can search for the journals so please note that i have logged in already okay so i am getting the search result botanica journal of science and technology since i have logged in i can view the profile page directly so this journal falls in the esca list emerging source citation index okay so you can see the isn number the same isn number first year published is 1993 you can see that this journal has been indexed in uh, 2010 in the scopus database and you can see it's a quarterly journal the country is from malaysia primary language in english language you can actually click on the visit site section to confirm that but anyway you are getting a 404 error but anyway you can see the a domain pertanica.upm.edu.my which was exactly the same journal what we have reviewed so you can find that this journal has been indexed in the scopus as well as web of science master journal list as well so some people are saying okay abdc is a quality indexing we will also try to search in that okay so in the abdc.edu.au it's a australian business deans council uh, journalist website so here we are searching for the isn number 0128-7680 when we are searching for this uh, particular journal information we cannot find any search result so there are no journals that match these parameters okay so either you go for searching the ISSN or maybe the title you will be getting no information so this journal you can find it in sci omega jr very active scopus as well as web of science but not in the abdc indexing so we cannot actually verify uh, in the scopus database what documents are present inside it but of course we can verify in the web of science so we are going into web of science.com please note that i have already logged in okay so here i am searching for uh, the title okay so make sure that you select publication title okay please do not select any other field uh, you can go for uh, selecting the publication title and maybe enter botanica journal of science and technology and you can click on search so you can find several documents very recently april 2023 you can find uh this particular article so what i'm doing i'm just copying this particular title and i'm searching for this particular title okay in the archive section in the recent issue you can find the same title okay effects of fiber length okay so you can see venish ana mainath okay which you can uh, cross verify here okay so which means that the articles which are reviewed uh, in the first website what we have already seen is the genuine website of this particular journal of course it, it has been indexed in the scopus and web of science now coming back to the publication charges as mentioned in the website they are charging you know approximately 250 dollars for the institutions affiliated outside the malaysian university okay so 250 dollars is approximately 20,000 in indian rupees but the agents you know charging a maximum of 
$500. So that is approximately $40,000. Maybe starting from $30,000, $35,000, $40,000, uh, it varies from agent to agent. And uh, with regarding the publication time, they are taking a maximum of 6 to 8 months. So that is all about this particular journal. As far as the journal is concerned, we have no problems in the indexing and of course they are publishing an average of maybe 100 to 150 articles within one year. So if you have any queries, clarifications or doubts, please share them in the comment section. So I hope you would have found this video much more useful. Please share this video among your department mates, colleagues and college mates as well. So suppose if they are in the process of uh, preparing a quality paper and if they are in a confusion to uh, go for a reliable uh, Scopus or maybe Web of Science publication, definitely they will find this video much more useful. So if you have any positive or maybe negative experience with this particular journal and about the processing or publication charges that uh, they quote for their acceptance, please share them as well in the comment section so that our channel members viewers, subscribers and followers will benefit a lot from your comments. So see you then in a genuine Scopus Web of Science SCI UGC or maybe ABDC index publications. Till then, collaboration is the